September 17th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Hebrews chapter 1 from the New Testament After God spoke long ago in various portions and in various ways to our ancestors through the prophets, in these last days he has spoken to us in a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom he created the world. The Son is the radiance of His glory and the representation of His essence, and He sustains all things by His powerful Word. And so when He had accomplished cleansing for sins, He sat down at the right hand of the Majesty on high. Thus He became so far better than the angels, as He has inherited a name superior to theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my Son, today I have fathered you? And in another place he says, I will be his father, and he will be my son. But when he again brings his firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. And he says of the angels, He makes his angels spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. But of the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever, and a righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. So God, your God, has anointed you over your companions with the oil of rejoicing. And you founded the earth in the beginning, Lord, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you continue, and they will all grow old like a garment. And like a robe, you will fold them up, and like a garment, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will never run out. But to which of the angels has he ever said, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? Are they not all ministering spirits sent out to serve those who will inherit salvation? God, I always find this beginning part of Hebrews interesting uh, because of where we sit now. We know, of course, that nobody is is above Jesus in that way that of course the angels are below him and and so this always baffled me why this would seem to be a big deal that it would have to go into the Bible but then as I thought about it more and thinking back to as we always need to do kind of the time when the Bible was written Hebrews was written to a group of Jewish Christians And it had to be a very anxious time for them. Um, Here they were raised with the angels giving them mosaic laws, angels watching over humans, becoming human, um, watching over um, and ministering uh, right there at the throne of God. Angels did all these amazing things. And here, if they're Jewish Christians... Jesus Christ, your son, has been introduced into the mix. Um, And and it had to have been a tad bit odd. I don't know how else to say it. A tad bit odd for them uh, to understand that there would be somebody above that. And in this process of understanding just how important and how valuable uh, Jesus Christ is to you as your son and why you sent him here to earth for us this chapter of Hebrews written to the Hebrews was incredibly important as verification of a starting place of who Jesus Christ was you need to understand that the hierarchy of of the Old Testament world uh, that the Jewish people came from is not how you will believe Uh, anymore. We now have Jesus Christ to add to the mix on top of the hierarchy that you've had up to this point. You need to understand, as you've put it, God, you need to understand how my son plays into this, uh, what role he has in so many areas of your life if you're going to be Jewish Christians. And so it makes a little bit more sense when we realize that they didn't have a couple thousand years to understand who your son was. Uh, They didn't have that uh, amount of knowledge, that teaching, the history of it. They were kind of fresh to the game and what they had known for so many years and what they had been taught for so many years now was suddenly shifting. And so that understanding of where your son needed to be placed in the priorities of their life. 
And I think that that speaks volumes to us that we need to understand where your son needs to be in the priorities of our life. That it not only needs to come above the angels, but in the priorities of, of the things that we do every day. Things that have taken precedent maybe for so long in our lives that suddenly, just like new Christians, like the Jewish people were back then, we have a new person introduced to our life. We have Jesus Christ and figuring out how he now fits into our life um, is probably not the best way to look at it. There's no fitting Jesus Christ into our life. As you very clearly allowed the writer of Hebrews to say in here, he is above all of it. He is first, he is last, he is above all of these other things. And so instead of trying to fit your son into our lives, we should fully recognize that he is above everything in our life and should be first and foremost our focus and our attention. God, thank you for allowing our hearts to understand more about this and more about the time period of when all of this was happening. Sometimes some of these things can be a little bit confused confusing or we may not understand why they were written and we just love it so much that you unveil this wisdom to us and share your knowledge so that we can learn more about you in your son's name i pray amen